Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about the latest news and developments in the world of economics and trade. In today's video, I'm going to discuss Iraq's quest to join the World Trade Organization, WTO, and how its currency exchange rate affects its chances of becoming a full member. As you may know, Iraq has been an observer member of the WTO since 2004, but it has not yet completed the requirements for full membership. One of the key requirements is to have a convertible currency at a realistic exchange rate. This means that the currency should be able to be exchanged freely with other currencies in the international market, and that its value should reflect the supply and demand of the economy. But what is a realistic exchange rate? Well, there is no clear answer to that question as different countries have different economic situations and policies. However, some factors that can influence the exchange rate are inflation, interest rates, trade balance, foreign reserves, and political stability. Currently, the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar is 1,310 to 1 US dollar. This is a very low value compared to other currencies, and it raises some concerns about the convertibility and stability of the dinar. For example, a low exchange rate can make imports more expensive and reduce the purchasing power of the people. It can also discourage foreign investment and trade, as the dinar may not be widely accepted or trusted by other countries. On the other hand, a low exchange rate can also have some benefits, such as making exports more competitive and stimulating domestic production. It can also help the government to pay off its external debt and reduce its fiscal deficit. So. Can Iraq join the WTO with an exchange rate of 1,310 dinar? The answer is yes, if the dinar is stable and reflects the economic reality of Iraq. However, this is not an easy task, as Iraq faces many challenges in its economy, such as high dependence on oil revenues, low diversification of the private and public sectors, weak institutions and governance, and security and political issues. According to some sources a superscript 1a squared, Iraq is planning to complete the requirements for joining the WTO, and is working on modernizing its customs system, finalizing its tariff law, and coordinating with the member states to gain support and speed up the accession process. Iraq hopes to become an active member and partner in the global economy, and to benefit from the opportunities and advantages that the WTO offers. However, Joining the WTO is not a magic solution for Iraq's economic problems. It also requires Iraq to implement reforms and policies that are consistent with the WTO rules and principles, such as transparency, non-discrimination, fair competition, and protection of intellectual property rights. These reforms may not be easy or popular but they are necessary for Iraq to integrate into the multilateral trading system and to achieve sustainable development and growth. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and share your thoughts and opinions on Iraq's WTO accession and its currency exchange rate. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.